uh, Gary Warren of Cali Thistle has joined us up in the press box. Uh, the Cali Thistle lads out sharp. There's a, a fish and chip stop uh, shop on the way, Gary. Yeah, I need a, I mean a, a good meal to get uh, get ourselves back home now um, after a, a real sort of pleasing performance again by the boys. Yeah, great result for you here at Kilmarnock. You, you kind of controlled things um, throughout the, the 90, although at the end there, Kilmarnock kind of threw a lot at you. Yeah, I say first half, I think we were real, really comfortable. Um, second half, obviously, we expected them to come out of traps quite quickly, um, and they did. They scored, uh, scored an early goal, but all credit to us. Our, our forward play at the moment is, is something that, as a, as a defender, you can just give the ball to the boys and just watch them go and express themselves. Yeah, you've got that confidence. You know that the guys will go to the park and, and score. And, you know, you're not sitting back and and watching. You're, you're contributing as well. But it must be pleasing to see, you know, the, the, the attacking players. You know, playing so well. At the moment. Yeah, I mean, you, you look at all the boys. You mean the, the two wide players at the moment? Aaron's, Aaron's on top form. Um, Phil, for a young lad's come in and done and done really well. And, and take your hat off to Billy because Billy, like the gaffer says, he looks like he's got four lungs. And uh, a boy never stops running. Um, and he's putting another good shift for us after, especially after Wednesday night. Um, I think the boys sometimes you can get a little bit complacent after, after coming away from a from a big game like that. Um, but fair play to the boys. Done a, another fantastic job again today. I know we're only what you know, complete like, what. Well, more than 10 games into the, the season uh, and there's been so many examples of, of great character in, in the squad you know considering the fact that there's players added in summer yourself too you know I talk about like the, the Tyne Castle the Easter Road performances and, and then Ibrox and today and you know tough trips for you midweek but there is real character in this team isn't there? Yeah I think to be to be honest with you the boys are made from, from real sort of stern stuff to be honest um, like you said today they, they've thrown the, the kitchen sink at us late on um, I think it was disappointing from last week to concede, concede such a late goal. Um, I think the boys were, were real sort of down about that. Um, and obviously to go Wednesday, putting a good performance. I think the lads didn't want that to affect them again today. Um, after they, they threw everything at us later on, the boys held out. Um, and like you said, the boys are showing great character at the moment. Yeah, tough kind of couple of away games, but to, to come out with it with two wins, you know, in, in the space of four days, you know, really is, is terrific. Yeah, I mean, you look at the tables now, I think we're up to third. Um, and I think it's, it's really important now we can, we can carry on the run we're on. Um, when I look at getting to Christmas time, still in the top three if we can, um, and there's no reason why we shouldn't. Like you said, we're the top scorers in the league. Um, we're a, we're a, sort of a real sort of handful for any side, and you can see that. We're coming up against teams at the moment, and we're, we're putting in good dis displays against anyone we come up against. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the league table at the moment shows you, well, I think you're up to third today. You know, it really is uh, terrific to see the club up so high, is that kind of surprised you or are you not surprised in one way that you're, you're doing so well? I don't think so, no. I think all right, it, may, it may have taken us a little bit of time to get to get sort of going the start of the season, but if you look at the start of the season, we haven't, we've still, we still only lost two games. Um, and I know we, we drew a few to start off with, but I think now we're starting to see the real the real flair we've got in the side. Um, and like I said, the real character and the, the strong stuff we're made of. Um, I think that's now really starting to shine through. Yeah, the overnight stay in Kamarik last night. The, the, the team quiz. I think Morris Malpass gets everyone together for that. How did you? How did you get on? Yeah, I was. Uh, I was with, uh, with me, Richie, Martin. Um, we finished third in the end. Uh, gonna blame blame it all on Martin because uh, he, he likes to take control. Martin Lang. Um, he let us down a little bit. So, uh, yeah, we ended up finished third. I think the smallest <laughs> Malpass is because I've heard good things about it. He's well, a he's a quiz master, isn't he? Yeah, very tough. Very tough. To be honest with you, um, he likes to come in and and give a few comments um, and I think that puts uh, puts a few of the boys off um, but yeah it was, was tough last night um, I think I can't remember what they won the quiz now but it was, it was a yeah, good night for us all yeah I think that the quiz the, the fish and chips and Octa the you know Terry's pinpointed them as, as you know key elements in the, in the bonding and getting the whole team together and it's uh, you know I think everyone looks forward to the, the quiz and the, the fish and chips and that you know yeah that's the thing I think the, the boys at the moment we've got good spirit amongst the side um, a great sort of camaraderie among the boys, um, and that's, that's I think that's really important to, to being a successful team. Um, and I think it's, it's showing at the moment. You look at we're in the top three, um, and, and team spirit plays a massive part in that. Excellent stuff, Gary. Thanks for joining us live right. on MFR2. Good to see you. Safe journey back up the road. Thank you.